what's going on everybody protein bar review guy here for another review today um, this one another uh, continuing on with the requests for the week this one is a one bar a lot of people have been asking me about one bars um, I think the other one uh, people were asking about a lot was um, they make another one that's sugar glazed donut flavor um, I'm gonna review that one in the future, um, but today I chose this one just basically out of curiosity. It looked interesting. Uh, Plant-based, chocolate peanut butter flavor, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan. Um, never tried this, so let's check it out. Um, ingredients. It's a protein blend of pea protein, rice protein, Defatted peanut flour, almond protein, soluble corn fiber, maltitol, that's not very good. Vegetable glycerin, palm kernel oil, peanuts, cocoa powder, processed with alkali, natural flavors, another red flag, pea starch, sunflower lecithin, sea salt, rice flour, calcium carbonate, and monk fruit extract. All right, uh, ingredients. I don't see any acesulfame potassium, aspartame, sucralose, Not really any kind of sketchy syrups in there, um, except for really maltitol, um, maybe palm kernel oil. It uses sunflower lecithin instead of soy lecithin. Um, the protein blend is, you know, pea protein and rice protein, which is good. There's no soy in that. Um, I guess they're using this defat and peanut flour uh, and almond protein to give it that nutty peanut taste. Uh, let's see here, protein content. Uh, we have 12 grams of protein, 21 grams of carbs, eight grams of total fat. Um, this is a 180 calorie bar. I guess I'll give that an eight. It's a little on the low side, but you know, <laughs> not bad. <clears throat> All right, so protein content, 12 grams. Uh, that's that's going to be a, a four. That's not... That's not enough. Um, you know, I'd like to see at least 20 grams in a bar. Even if it is only 180 calories, you can get 20 grams of protein in there. That's, you know, that's only 80 calories of protein if you just have straight, you know, if you just count the protein there, four calories a gram. Um, so the macros, uh, you know, macros are not very good either. I would give it a four as well for that because it's not really, protein bar at this point because it's you know it's more of a carb bar than a fat bar uh, let's uh let's give this thing a taste all right interesting it looks like uh what were those heath heath bar candy bars it looks like a heath bar it's got like a nice nice chocolate coating on the outside look at that i'm curious let's check this out That's pretty good. Um, there's no crunch. There's no. There's no. There's not a cookie layer in there or anything. But uh, still, texture's pretty good. Um, you have, you know, a little bit of chewiness from um, the peanut and almond flour, giving it that peanutty texture. Um, real good creaminess to it from the chocolate on the outside. flavor is strong you know the peanut has a strong peanut flavor strong peanut butter flavor the chocolate tastes like chocolate um, you know right in line with you know all the flavors that should be in a peanut butter cup um, taste um, yeah I'll, I'll give this uh, I'll give it a I'll give it a 9.5 all right it's it's good but, um, you know, with there not being a whole ton of sugar in this thing and artificial sweeteners and everything, it's not like totally blowing my mind away with sweetness, which is a good thing. Um, but just, um, I'm not gonna say it's perfect taste-wise, but um, it, 
tastes pretty good. It tastes like chocolate peanut butter cup texture. Um, I'll give it an eight for texture. Um, it's not an overly complex uh, cornucopia of textures there, um, but not bad. So I'll give it an eight for that. All right, let's talk about an overall score for this. Um, I'll give it a seven. Despite the low protein content and the, you know, unbalanced macros of what we really want to see in a, in a protein bar to get our good protein sources there, I'll give it a seven. Basically, uh, because of the ingredients, the taste, and the texture, and um, this being all plant-based, you know, this is... I've said in other videos about the importance of only having these bars immediately after a workout, you know, not like when you're sitting behind a desk and you just, you're hungry, you need a snack. Um, with these plant-based bars, you know, as long as there's not too much junk in them, the plant-based bars can be a good go-to around the clock when you need a snack, um, you know, not just after workout because they are more gentle on your blood sugar. They don't spike your blood sugar as much as having you know, like a whey protein in there um, with a bunch of junky ingredients in there with it. They are a little safer. And because it doesn't spike your, you know, your blood sugar, you know, and then, and then you come down quick, and, you know, and you feel hungry and starving real quick, you're gonna get a little more gradual, sustained energy from a plant-based bar such as this. Um, so again, I'm giving this a seven. Stay tuned. One of these days, we'll hit the uh, the one honey glazed or sugar glazed donut flavor. I, I don't think that one's plant based though. I think that's a way something. I don't know. Whatever. We'll, we'll get to it. All right. Remember to like and subscribe. I am Protein Bar Review Guy. I'll check you later.